After leaving St. George Island, we made our way back up into Georgia and stopped at East Bank Campground. East Bank is run by the Army Corps of Engineers, and most of the 65 sites include water and electric. We stayed in Section C, where most of the sites had concrete pads. The campground is located just next to the Jim Woodruff Dam. Here we are walking to the dam. We're actually going to be able to walk across the dam. Yeah. Here we are walking across the Florida state line. We're in Georgia right now. Luckily, we're not wanted by the police, so we're okay. Yeah. Not yet. Welcome to Florida. Okay. <laughs> she has gone crazy. <laughs> so we're walking up to the dam. I don't know if we can get across it or not. It doesn't look that way, but we have to see what's going on up here anyway. We're gonna walk across the front of it here to see what we can see. Said no trespassing on this end, so we're gonna go down and investigate where it's down here. Hydroelectric power at its best. Look how turbulent that is. It's like a big washing machine. Kind of cool. I don't think I'd go swimming in it. I'll come on if you find it. Not in that cesspool. You're like, what's going on, man? Is she gone yet? When checking in, they warned us about the potential for Argentine ants. So we did spray our stab legs our bikes, which were tied to the stab legs, and our power cord, just in case. We had no issues. This campground seems very popular with those who have large rigs. The biggest plus of this park were the spectacular sunsets. It looks like it would be a great location to drop a pole in, but kayaking with our inflatables didn't look great from the boat launch. Maybe another launch north of here would have been better. There was one washer and one dryer at the facility that was in high demand, but I certainly wouldn't complain for a dollar wash and a dollar dry. We stayed here for six nights, which Gary used to try to catch up on some sleep. So far, not so good yet. We are yet again on a dirt road. This is my fault, I guess. Thanks, Mrs. Google. <laughs> oh my. Look at all of them. I think they're here to check us out too. We're not dead yet. We're at Riverbend Campground. What were you laughing about? Your uh, wheel chug. Oh, my wheel chug didn't go so well. It's doing perfectly. I don't know what you're. I don't know what you're talking about. They're everywhere. Oh my gosh. It's so loud. It is a ginormous flock. And then they're gone. We're at a county park, just 40 minutes south of Columbus, Georgia. Just beautiful, $5 a night. It is dry camping, so that's maybe why there is literally no one here. There's about 10 sites, all of them fairly level, brand new rock and everything, quiet as can be. Uh, amazing views of the sky last night. We're headed into town. Uh, to get some supplies and stuff, and then we're coming back here. Yeah, like a pack of coyotes. Hmm. 
Well, we are out in the middle of nowhere. We are certainly out in the middle of nowhere. just south of Columbus, Georgia. We're going to be going on a bike trail to go into town. They have a really nice bike trail that uh, that hugs the river going through town. So goes we're going to expose miles. it. What? It goes about 12 miles. Oh, okay. 12, 12 miles. miles. Okay. Hopefully 12 miles one way. So yeah, maybe not the whole thing for us, but uh, yeah, looks like it's going to be fun. In the Chattahoochee River Walk. You are here. This is beautiful. Squirrel. <laughs> I'm a rebel. <laughs> Wow, look at that. You don't think so? You don't think the inflatable ones would work well here? Huh. And what better way to mix up a bike ride than going to get ice cream? But not any ice cream. We decided to try Southern Roots Country Store, home of the Milkshake Mama. It was just off the bike trail, so when in Columbus, we decided to split a calf size shake and went with the salty old goat. There were two larger sizes beyond that, but we still needed to get back to our camper. This is completely like an Alfred Hitchcock movie at this place. It's so amazing. There's so many birds. Ooh, you, got a hot one. <laughs> you do have a hot one. <laughs> now this is definitely a sweet sight. Look at this. You can hear the gunfire in the background from a local tactical place. I'm sure they're working with Fort Bedding. Um, but that does go away um, once it gets darker. But look at this. I don't think we could have asked for a more beautiful sight. Where does Doxy got one of them? And now it will be quiet. Good morning. We're on our way to Providence Canyon State Park. It's about a half an hour from where we've been staying. There is no uh, camping there, so we are digging our house with and uh, going for a little hike today. When I was young, 
just a boy dreamed of falling in love with a girl like you. Through the years I thought I found you, but nothing would do. Now here we dreams come true And this is all just sand. That is so cool. going up and going down, especially after seven and eight miles. Here we go, like seven and a half miles, and now we gotta go climb this up. Open our ass. This is a good old ass record. Just catch you right afterwards. We made the entire trek for Providence Canyon. All right, finished at last. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them.